Hello again and welcome back to another episode of Lawrence Plays GTA 5 uh, Manhunt. And we've got, once again, we've got the controller in uh, in his office hiding away in the casino, uh, keeping an eye on everyone else and making sure they go where they're, wherever they're supposed to. Um, and as, as, as always, uh, there, we've got some hunters trying to hunt me down, catch up with me as quickly as possible, stop me with bullets in the tyres or the head or wherever it is they want to put them this time. And to make things a little bit more interesting, uh, we're also, because it's December, at least I assume that's why, we've got the, uh, currently got the snowy times in, um, in, in uh, San Andreas, in Los Santos. So, grip is a little bit interesting. So I've, I've gone for a slightly less um, aggressively sporty car than sometimes, with the hope that this, this saloon will have slightly more grip in the snow and be slightly easier to deal with. But I guess we'll find out how that goes over the next uh, few minutes. We've also got a few more hunters than normal. We've managed to scrounge up a few more people. Um, and if, I've, if my counting is correct, I think we've got one controller um, and four hunters. So whether that's going to be better or worse for them uh, remains to be seen. So it, we can... Oh dear, that's not, that's not a good start at all. Um, I can see this going up one of two ways for them. Either they're going to have extra people and therefore they're going to be able to catch up with me and hunt me down much more quickly and easily than normal. Or, also, also, also possible, is that the controller is going to have a, such a headache trying to deal with that many people that it's going to be significantly easier for me and they're just all going to get lost and tangled around each other. I don't know how it's going to go. We'll, um, I guess we'll find out. So I'm going to risk the motorway for a moment because I feel like I haven't moved all that far since the start of the game. Oh, here's a jump. Let's try that. Oh. No. Oh, that was a bad landing. Um, still, I haven't really used the storm drained yet in any of these uh, runs, so I think this is a good opportunity. Uh, let's run away down here. In hindsight, that jump, not such a great idea. And the storm drains are also fairly obvious on the, on the map for the controller, so he's going to know that I'm in them um, and should be able to guide the hunters to me fairly quickly. That said, on the flip side, I can do a reasonable speed down them and hopefully get... Oh dear. <laughs> I was worried that water was going to be a bit deeper than it was. Um, I was going to say, hopefully I can then get get a bit of distance on them and get uh, just, just get away. Of course, at this point in the game, I have no idea where they are. And I have no idea how to get in or out of here. So, this is going to be interesting. My car has started to rattle, which is a little bit of a concern, because it might mean that it's starting to have trouble. As usual, the idea of switching cars every so often feels like an excellent idea, because it means I can um, change, I get to change what car I'm in. It, it might throw them off the scent a little bit if, I, if, I, if the vehicle changes looks, and also it means I get a nice shiny new car that hasn't been dinged up by various crashes like that. Um, the downside of trying to switch vehicles, of course, is it means I'm sat still for several minutes while I try and switch and I've got to try and find something worth switching into as well and the car I've got at the moment this is an Oracle which is and it's a, a reasonably good sedan type car it's got a fair turn of speed um, but not particularly great acceleration the grip I don't know to be honest how the grip compares to some of the other vehicles in the game because it's in these snowy conditions it's really hard to compare things so I don't really know, uh, but it's, it, it's, it looked reasonably powerful, it looked reasonably suitable for what I'm trying to do, so I thought I'd give it a shot. Let's jump off here again. That worked quite well for me last time. Oop. <laughs> Not so well this time, though. Uh. I feel like I've, I'm not driving as well as I was in the last episode. I don't know whether this is because cars are pulling out in front of me. No, I don't know whether this is because it's been a while since I've played very much of this and I've got out of practice or whether I've just or whether I'm just driving badly. I mean that's entirely possible. It's the sort of thing I do. Uh, let's try going on in an unexpected direction, by which I mean off road. Ooh. Okay, I'm on the motorway again. But I think that's okay. I'm going to put my foot down for um, for a couple of minutes, try and cover a bit of distance, and then try and get off the motorway relatively quickly and go in a slightly less predictable direction. So if I take the next exit, whatever that is, actually this is an exit onto a different bit of motorway, but at least it's a change of direction. Of 
got some railway lines here. Can I get onto them? No, they're raised up. There's a bit of a wall there, so I don't think I can climb up onto that. That's a shame. Uh, I'm thinking about changing vehicles again. I mean, I, I, I know I'm talking about that quite a lot and haven't really done anything, but I've not been in the right place for it. Around here, the, actually, the ruin is not too bad, apart from the fact that I've just knocked one of its headlights out. Tail lights. Um, yeah, they tend not to be particularly great vehicles around here. So I think, if, but if I go back this way, I th think I'm probably heading north now. Um, we'll wait to see when we have the uh, <laughs> the controller's video and find out how accurate I, my um, estimate of the direction is. Um, I'm also. Oh yeah, this, yeah, this is backing towards the city. That's roughly where I thought I was going. Okay. Although I was a bit further off to the east than I was expecting, off towards the um, the casino and the oil fields. But, but going back up here, this takes me back in towards the. Um, Sort of towards the Vinewood Hills, and that tends to be where the better cars are, like that one. But I don't know why that was just sat there. That makes me think. Uh, I know that Paul is rather fond of those, the uh, the Count Ashes. Uh, what are they called in the game? Game. I, I, I forget what they're called. Hi there. Um. But yeah, he is rather fond of those. So if it's just sitting there at the side of the road, there's a fair chance he, that's because of him, and he's been using it, and he's it's been left damaged. Probably not with a bomb in the uh, trunk, but you never know. Okay, that was a terrible way to go. I'm just taking a loop round, round a, a, a chunk of the city that, uh, a small chunk of the city that was, that was a complete waste of time. Um, what's that? Oh, all right, let's take a, let's take one of them. Okay, this is. Kind of scary. This is the first time I've actually switched vehicle. Come on, have a bit of a sense of urgency. This is the first time I've ever actually. Sw um, oh, it's a bullet. Okay, it wasn't what I, wasn't what I thought it was. Um, that's the first time I've. Oh, it's a simian vehicle. So I've got a wanted level as well now. That's not going to make things easier. Um, yeah, so that's the first. As I say, first time I've, uh, I've actually switched vehicle in one of these games because it's kind of terrifying. And now I guess that kind of emphasises one of the other reasons uh, that I hadn't even thought of, to be honest, until it happened. Um, one of the other reasons why I don't normally do it. So the problem is, um, in this game, I don't know how many of you, whether you've um, played it much, but in this game you have the uh, there's one of the um, one of the NPC characters has a list of cars he wants stolen and and delivering to him. And so for each one of those you pick up, you get immediately get a two star wanted level, and therefore attention from the police like this. Um, and so you get a two-star wanted level, and, but if you can, but you can then also go off and sell the vehicle. Whereas normally, when you steal a car, if there aren't any cops around to notice you doing it, you just get away with it, unless un unless you then find some cops who see you in a stolen vehicle. So it's a bit unfortunate, <laughs> and it means when you're trying to do one of these sort of ex sort of um, extracurricular active games, um, or one, one of these things that the game doesn't really expect. Oh come on, go! One of these games that the uh, game doesn't really expect you can run into uh, run into various issues because you suddenly have a wanted level when you weren't really expecting it oh come on where's the way out of this okay there's a way out over there I think this is where I came in so I'm looping back on myself which isn't ideal uh, yeah so now not only do I have to try and flee the um, the hunters I've got this two star oh no, there we go the wanted level is gone so um, that's one less thing for me to worry about now. <laughs> I always seem to end up in this area of the map. Um, actually, worse than that, I always seem to end up in this area of the map at the end of the game, is when they've when they found me and are, and are about to catch me. So let's move away from here in case there is some actual sort of something bad about that area. <laughs> I'll go around this way instead. Um, is this one of the sort of because of the way the roads curve, you always end up back in the same place, sort of things. I don't know. I have found if I'm if I'm in the city, I do tend to end up doing a lot of hooning back and forth, up and down the the Vinewood Road. Oh dear, that wasn't where the gap was. It's there instead. Let's go down here. On. Oh. Roll the car. Roll the car. Roll the car. Roll the car. Thank you, GTA Physics. Oh no, shootings. Where'd that come from? That car's coming quite quickly up behind me. 
go this way. Yeah. Rapid escape. I mean, bullet escape. So I'm not in a rapid. Oh. <laughs> Run away. Okay, there's at least... Yes, I think they're both those cars are probably hunters, judging by the way they're being driven. Okay, oh, right. This, yeah, rail yard down here. I could try and escape along the railway lines, but maybe that's what they'll be expecting. But then it would be... I don't know whether it's easier to guide them to me if I'm on the railway lines or if I'm off them. Oh, I don't need more police. <laughs> it's only a one-star level this time, and I think that was because either because they saw me in a stolen car or because I pinged off them. Um, either way, that should be a bit easier to lose, because there won't be anything like as many, of them ch any, as many police cars chasing me. Maybe they'll go and distract the hunters a bit if they're all in stolen cars. Which they should be, because that's the rules. Uh, only only normal spawning cars allowed. No um, no personal vehicles, because they tend to be a bit... They tend to be a bit upgraded. They also often have locks on them, so it makes it a bit harder for... We had one incident where um, the, the prey tried to get in a random vehicle inside the road and ended up not being able to steal it, because it was a, um, a hunter's vehicle and it was locked. There's a car chasing me. I don't know if that's a hunter or a cop. <laughs> oh. I should have gone on those railway lines there. That would have been a nice way to get away. That wasn't a bad corner. Oh, yeah, so that's a hunter. There's no flashing lights on top of it. Let's try and cover some ground to get away. I th There's a reasonable chance I've got a car that's faster in a straight line, but worse at cornering, because the bullet is... Well, it's a GT40. It's got a lot of power but not an enormous amount of grip. So I suspect if I just try and... If I put my foot down in a straight line, I might have some luck. But ooh, that makes it very easy to guess where I'm going. Let's try going up here instead. Ooh. That might have worked better than I expected it would. Um, because I think he's done even worse on the cornering than I have. Ooh, let's try and get around here. Yeah, so it's, it's really... That feels like it's going to be a really good way to get away from hunters because you can just pull a quick 180 and head back up the ramp. The problem is, I always bleed off so much speed doing the 180 that um, it's very, very. I'm very slow getting back up the ramp, so it's fairly easy to track where I'm going. And as as I did in that case, get a few shots off before I disappear. This time, I am going to go along this railway line. Pull that off a little bit more neatly. Oh, it doesn't. That's less of a um, escape route than I was hoping for. Oh, that's the um, the way that goes underground. I think I took that in an earlier episode and then decided that going into the tunnels was perhaps a little bit cheesy and not enormously fair. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to head off this way. And, yeah, just <laughs> jump over a police car. That's a good way of getting past them. That was lucky. And head off this way. Uh, I think I might have got away, at least for now. So maybe the the, um, the abrupt 180 was, was quite good, because although it was very hard for me to do and they did get off a few shots at me, it gave me an opportunity to... It, it meant they then had to worry about turning around as well, so they had all the same problems that I did. And so that slowed them down too. Um, I don't want to go this way because I'm leaving the city back on the motor ah, truck <laughs> oh jeez right let's try and get going that was not a good um, not good for my escape chances I'm also aware that I'm heading back in the direction I just came from however I'm on the motorway so hopefully that'll make it slightly harder for them to get off the little off the sort of the surface streets onto the, onto the motorway and I've now burst back out into the city again. Okay. Um, this is a sign of how, how bad I am at navigating in this game. <laughs> oh, I was going to turn there. I was going far too fast. And, yeah, the snow does... The snow does make quite a big difference to the grips. It's not it's not just a cosmetic, um, cosmetic thing. Uh, I probably should have taken the opportunity to turn then, since I'd slowed down. Um, as it were, as it is... 
stopping because I crashed and then starting to go in the same direction again is is a bad idea um, because they probably don't they don't have to slow down at that point. So that was that was unwise. I'm also going against the flow of traffic, which I mean it's not the end of the world, but it's probably slightly foolish. Um, because it means I'm more likely to have some sort of serious crash. Like that one with the truck when I just got onto the motorway. Oh! <laughs> one of them just killed himself. That's a good start. <laughs> um, yeah, I I think we, we reckon that people are allowed to just respawn and rejoin and carry on playing when they do that. <laughs> Otherwise I'd probably run out of hunters fairly quickly. <clears throat> of course, if I kill myself, then that's game over for me. But uh, that's slightly different. This is doing going pretty well, I think. Um, I'm not sure exactly how long I've been going for, but I think this is sort of of the similar sort of order of my um, previous games, where it, where it had been about 12, I think 14 minutes is my current record. So we'll see if I can beat that. Um, so far, so good. Um, where am I? Oh, I'm over. I'm over here again. <laughs> I am actually uh, listen, just. Uh, I am just going in circles. This is ridiculous. Where's this? Oh, this is the, um... Uh, what do you call it? Storm drains again. Oh, that was too much too slow. Need to go, get, go and get, get, get going again faster than that. That's what I'm trying to say. That's a bit more like it. Come on, round the corner. Yeah, there we go. After saying I don't use the um, storm drones very much, the second time in one episode, I think that they're a good way. They are a very good way to cover a lot of distance very quickly. Um, and you can go really fast down them, um, and hopefully I can get across here. I'm always a little bit paranoid about um, about driving in the water there, because I'm, I'm always a little bit paranoid that it's going to be that little bit too deep, and I'm going to lose my car. Where am I? I also get very very lost when I go in the storm drains, but oh. <laughs> and, Okay, yeah, I know. Okay, I do know where I am. Let's try this way. Uh, yeah, giving them quite a good run for the money today. Um, maybe it's because the oh, this is another wanted level. Uh, maybe it's because the um, the bullets white and it blends in with the snow, so it makes me hard to see. Who knows? Yeah, it's. I know it's a sort of famous last words kind of thing, but I, I think this is this is going pretty well. Um, I yeah, I should have made more of a note of what what time I started at, so I'd have a better idea of how well I was doing. <laughs> but yeah, it's um, I, I, it certainly feels like I've been doing pretty well. They've, they they did catch up with me. At, there was was it just once so far? I think once they've got in range and start and started actually shooting at me. And then they chased me for a few minute, for a minute or so, and then I managed to throw them off when I did that sharp 180 onto the up ramp. Why have I got two stars? I swear this has been the most police involvement we've ever had in one of these uh, in one of these manhunt games. Did I just do a 180 and start heading back down, more or less where I came from? I think I might have done. <laughs> it's probably unwise. I kind of want to change vehicle again for sort of the excitement and entertainment of it and because I think this one's starting to get a little bit battered. It's still going pretty well and I don't have it, I can't criticise its performance and resilience. It's doing well from that point of view. It says I can just knock a load more stuff over. Um, the only real problem I'm having with it is the, uh, the traction and that's because of the snow. So yeah, this has been a... Alright, let's switch vehicles. Said, let's switch vehicles. Come All right, apparently I'm not switching vehicles. <laughs> I'm not going to try and get any air checkpoints in my car. That seems like a uh, a recipe for ridiculousness. I am, however, going to come off the motorway straight away because I sat there for far too long trying to switch vehicles, and <laughs> even though it didn't work, it means they're probably going to have caught up with me a bit. I'm trying to be a lot more unpredictable about. Um, about my use of motorways. I think I've, I've, I've said that a couple of times already, but I'm very aware that if I just keep going in a straight line for a long time, 
it makes me really it makes it really obvious where I'm going because they can just assume that I'm going to probably carry on doing that going the same way. Um, so I need to keep changing directions. That said, on the flip side, I need to not change directions too much and go back on myself because then I end up likely driving towards the hunters, and that makes me much easier to catch. Ooh, don't go up the steps because I've got ramp because I've no idea what's up there. Let's head. I will head back up in towards the Vinewood area. I could have switched into that vehicle, actually. Though it says you have to be an air vehicle, parachute, or free fall, so maybe I can't. Maybe I can't try and jump my car into a. Ooh, that'll do. That looks like a 9F. It's not my favourite car, but they are quite quick. I tend to find they're a bit slippery, actually, so this might not be the best choice in the snow. But I'm going to try it anyway and see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> and I think changing vehicles, especially now, ooh, yeah, that is very, very under, very, um, very slidey. Oh well, I'm committed now. I'm gonna have to at least use it for a little while. Ooh, yeah, this is this is a very twitchy car. <laughs> and my driving was bad enough before, so we'll. Ooh, this may have been a bad idea. Well, we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm either going to. Um, regret it or I won't, I suppose. I think it's... Oh, that looks like a hunter. I saw a broken... Yep, yeah, I'm being shot at. Help! And he's got oh, the same problems as me, because he's in a 9F as well, which I believe is the is the GTA Universe's version of the, um, the Audi R8. That sounded like a tyre. Oh no. This car was a mistake. car was an enormous mistake. <laughs> oh no. Ow. Ow. That's another tyre. That was a wheel. Was that a wheel? Yes, that was actually a wheel.